Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my September favorites. You guys know that I do this every single month, sharing with you guys my top picks for each month. So we're heading into fall, which is probably my favorite season out of all of them because one, it's my birthday season, and two, I just love the change of colors in the leaves, the coolness, the crispness of the air, if that's even a word. But I just love the fall. It's such a pretty time. And I feel like everyone kind of likes the fall. I feel like that's probably everyone's favorite season or spring, one of the two. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see my videos every single week. And without further ado, let's get started on my September favorites. All right, so starting with my favorite is the complexion. To me, complexion is probably my favorite part of the routine because I feel like it just gets everything together. I always do my eyes first, especially when doing like a glam look like I did today. So I find that once the eyes are done and when you start working on the complexion, it just completes the look and always looking snatched. So let's start with complexion. So of course you need a primer and I have two here that I really have been really grabbing for every single day when doing makeup and they're just great for everyday looks, simple looks, glam looks, you name it. These are my favorite primers right now. So the first is the sample size. It's the Say E. I think this is the Superstars. Wait, it is the Glowy Super Gel Star Glow. So I do just have the mini size right here because it did come in a sample from my Sephora order a few months back. And I've really been putting it to the test. And guys, like it is so good. It just looks great either by itself with no makeup. So it's like a no makeup makeup look or underneath any foundation, any product you want to use. So this is just so good. It's absolutely beautiful. I really don't even want to swatch it because I really just don't have a lot left because I do use it all the time. But I love it so much. It was really great under any foundation that you want to use it with. And yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to opt out and get the bigger size once I'm out of here because I do use it so, so much. And yeah, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 product. The next product that I'm going to be mentioning is something that I've had in my makeup collection for years now, but I really haven't shown it on my YouTube channel that much just because I've been trying out so many new products. But this one is tried and true, like my favorite, favorite is it a primer? Is it a foundation? Is it a highlighter? I'm not sure. It's probably all three, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Rise. I'm in the shade three light medium, but this is no joke. You could seriously do this as a primer just to give yourself that nice base of a healthy glow with a nice dew, or you could use it as foundation, but it isn't going to cover up much, but you could wear it on again, makeup, no makeup days. Or you can use it as a beautiful highlighter sitting on top of your makeup because it does look so beautiful like that as well. So both of these primers are honestly my favorite right now. And they're really great for the fall because you still have that nice sun coming in on especially a beautiful fall day, hitting you nicely and giving you that nice shiny glow from within, especially by using these two products. My two favorite foundations that I've been loving so much right now our first is the NARS one. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I'm in the shade Valerius. I think that's how you pronounce it. But guys, this is such a great foundation. It does have a matte finish. So usually using one of these primers really does help if you want a little bit of a glow. But for the most part, it's pretty matte. So if you do have more of on the drier side of skin, like I don't know if you would particularly love this. But I just have normal skin, so for me, I could either wear a very dewy foundation or a very matte foundation. This is not drying to the skin. It doesn't feel like it's like sucking in the skin. It just feels so comfortable and so smooth. It really gives you that flawless finish, especially in the winter time. Your skin just looks like absolutely perfect. I don't even know how to explain it. I just can't wait to like put this back on again and wear it all the time. Most of the products that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video, I am wearing on my face. I'm not wearing this one on my face right now, but the next foundation I am. So the next one I had matched on this channel and I have dedicated a whole video to this and I have been wowed by it ever since. This is the Lancome foundation, the Taint Idol Ultra Wear. I love this. I'm in the shade 250W. Guys, this is no joke. I am wearing this on my face right now. You guys can just tell the coverage is real. Honestly, in both of these foundations, they are both full coverage. This I would say is more medium to full, but you could definitely build on it where this is just full coverage. So this one's beautiful. I could wear this on my wedding day. That's how much I love it so much. 
That is my dog barking, probably at another dog that she sees outside right now. This I would wear on my wedding day. It is just that beautiful. It looks like, honestly, your skin, but better with, of course, coverage. This one definitely gives you that more matte finish, but a beautiful, beautiful finish. I absolutely love both of these. Now, my favorite concealer right now is something that is, I think, like a hit or miss in the beauty community right now. And I'm really not sure why, because I really do love it. I think the formula is great. It's super creamy and just easy to work with. This is the one size turn up the base concealer. I am in the shade light three neutral. I love it. I know you have to work fast with it. So what I usually like to do is I like to break it up in sections when concealing my face. So I'll just work in the eyes and just put the product down, blend it out, and then just move on to the next section of my face. Cause I know that this does dry quickly and you don't want it to dry in a sense where you can't blend anymore. So first of all, the dope fit is like actually so incredible for your concealer. You can really get into those eyes and any areas that you really wanna conceal. It does such a nice job. You can honestly even wear this as foundation. That's how good it is. The formula is great. The color is just like a perfect match for me. I love the packaging. I love the red. I just, I love everything one size. I think their complexion products are a 10 out of 10. But yeah, I'm not really sure why these are hit or miss for me. Like I love it so much. I can't live without it. This and my Haley's Beauty Concealer are honestly like top drawer. I rotate them every single day or whenever I'm putting on concealer. I think it is so, so good, and it is um, at Sephora, so it technically is a higher-end brand, but the actual price point isn't so bad, so I will continue reaching for this, and once I'm finished with this bottle, I know I'm going to buy it again. But two cream blushes here that I have been reaching for over and over again, I'm wearing one of them on my face right now, so this is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in the shade Beach Babe. I love this so much. First of all, I love the actual packaging because it's just so easy to work with. This color is, by the way, perfect for the fall and the winter, which is why I'm wearing it because we are in September and I'm loving life here. And then it does come with the brush. I don't really use these type of brushes because they are pretty dense and I feel like it kind of lift my foundation that I'm wearing already. So this is what the swatch looks like on my hand. It is super creamy and it's just so easy to blend. I usually just blend it with either my sponge or just a different brush like my Fenty 125 brush. But this just blends in so beautifully. I'm wearing this on my face right now and I love it so much. This product has been like my go-to when I'm wearing cream blushes because it is that good. I love it and I know Nude Sticks is a very popular brand and I definitely want to try out the other shades in here because this shade is literally gorgeous and I love it so much. It does have a slight like matte finish and I am just so, so obsessed with it because it is so creamy, so effortless and the actual color guys, like, come on, does it get prettier? So the next cream product, like I am actually obsessed with this and I just love the person who came out with this. This is Jaclyn Cosmetics. I really do love Jaclyn and her brand itself. I love her YouTube page. I've been following it for so long now. She is just a queen and I just love her. So her cream blush product guys in the shade is Swoon. First of all, packaging is amazing. It feels high end, feels luxurious. And the actual coloring here, I'm not sure you could tell. It's like a creamsicle orange color. So I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys so you could see. This you would think is more for like spring and summer, but when you rub it into your skin, like, oh, that is just a beautiful fall tone. Like this is the Nude Sticks one. So just look at this one. This is just absolutely beautiful. Like the actual coloring is just great. I wish I like could show you guys on my face. I have brought this on my channel before, but the best way to apply this, I don't really love it with a brush. I like putting my sponge on top of here and just blending it like that. I don't love putting it on my face because I feel like sometimes it does pick up my foundation, but when I put on my sponge and just blend it like that, it really does a beautiful job. And it looks so seamless and effortless. It's just like chef's kiss. Like these two guys like run to get these because they're just that good. Moving on to powder blushes. You guys know how much I love my powder blushes. I probably have like so many in my collection and it's just so hard for me to choose, but these two have been like, Ooh, so good. So this is the ColourPuff, the Powerpuff Girls collab in the shade Saving the World. 
First of all, guys, packaging is adorable. I used to watch the Powerpuff Girls growing up, so this is very nostalgic to me. The color in here is, oh my God. It looks so great with the Jaclyn Cosmetics sitting underneath it. It does have a similar tone to the Jaclyn Cosmetics shade, like I said. It does come with the mirror, which is great. I'm usually not really into the collaboration products for makeup because I don't know, like I think they're super cute, super fun, but to me, like I'm just not interested, but this one was calling my name. Let me just show you guys on my finger. Like that is what it looks like right here. And I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys quickly so you could see what it looks like on my, my arm. So it seems so subtle, but guys, it is so pigmented. I'm wearing it today on top of everything and it just looks so good. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. You guys know ColourPop is sold at Ulta or on their website. And this is just so good. I know it, it is drugstore price, but it isn't at the drugstore. But I love everything about it. Again, packaging is literally a 10 out of 10. Another powder blush that I have really been loving, again, it is on the higher end side. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs blush in the shade Flirtatious. I love this so much. It does come with the mirror as well. I mean, look at this shade, guys. It is absolutely stunning. I love the detailing of the roses in the pan. It is just everything luxurious so i'm just gonna swatch this for you guys real quick so you could see again it is pretty subtle at first so i may not even pick up on camera it's this shade right here i'm not really sure if you could tell but i'm just giving you guys the middle finger sorry but that shade is so beautiful and it's so buildable let's see if i build it up more on my on my wrist here let's see okay so you could kind of see it more it's a very natural shade but it does wonders. Like, this is something I would wear on my wedding day because it is just so gorgeous, guys. Like, it just gives your cheeks that natural flush tone. Like, I don't even know. I just love it so much. I think it's great for all seasons, honestly, because it gives you that nice, like, little pinky tone with flair, if you know what I mean. These blushes are just amazing. I know Pat McGrath is very high end. I did splurge on this one. It is, I think, like $35 for blush, which is really pricey for a product like that. But I did have to try it, and honestly, I don't regret it. I should have probably mentioned this product after the Patrick Star concealer, but I forgot because it's so little. I did mention this on my channel, but you guys know I love this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector. I'm in the shade 2 Medium. First of all, packaging is so cute. I could literally fit it in my purse it is just that tiny but this is great it does have a peach undertone so it really does a great job Vic, like blurring out the blueness the veins the dark circles on your eyes so this is what it looks like on my hand I'm just going to show you real quick right here so you could kind of see so you, it's right here my apple watch a little more here but this is what the actual peachy tone looks like so it really does a nice job covering up Again, your dark, knit, your dark circles, your blueness, your veins, and then you could put concealer on it. But I don't need it with this one because this one is full, full coverage. It is no joke. So this one I will use when I am having more of a sheer concealer or a medium coverage concealer that can't really get those dark circles or that blueness. So this really does come in handy. I also really love the Fenty color corrector. But if I had to choose, it'd be this one. But I think this product that I have here is the last collection product before we move on to the eyes. Okay. This is so good. I'm not even sure if I mentioned this on a previous favorite video, but I'm mentioning it again if I did because it is that good. This is the Catrice Sumgasm Highlight. First of all, holy cow. This packaging is enormous. I will probably never hit pan on here because it is that big. This highlight is absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I didn't really put a lot on because I didn't want to take away from my eyes, so I just put very little on. But this is a blinding highlight. Let me just show you guys what it looks like on my finger. Like, wow, that is blinding. So let's just put this right here so you can see. I mean, do you see how blinding that is? That is absolutely beautiful. I did get this on Amazon because I'm not sure that it sells on Ulta anymore. And I don't even know if they can sell it on Catrice's website anymore. So I did pick this up at, didn't pick it up. I got it delivered from Amazon. I believe it was like 10 bucks. This is so good. I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on it because I'm just not sure if it's sold anymore. I think, yeah, I mean, this is just amazing. It is vegan and cruelty-free. I think all Catrice products are, which is phenomenal. So if they still sell this, I would definitely get it. It is super affordable and you are getting a bang for your buck because this is just enormous. 
you will never run out of this. So let's move on to the eyes. We are officially done with the complexion. Let's move on to mascara. If you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time, you guys know that I have baby lashes. They really don't move. They don't do anything. But with this specific mascara, it has been life-changing. I am wearing it right now. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. First of all, packaging. I love the gold detailing. It feels kind of, not lightweight, but kind of heavier than my other drugstore mascaras. I love this. I used to tell myself I'm not going to fall in love with a high-end mascara because I think the drugstores just have great mascaras. My Essence one is amazing. My Maybelline one is great. My Joa one is great. But this one, guys, has been life-changing for my eyelashes. I sometimes don't even wear my falsies anymore. Like today, I am in my full lash mode using this mascara. Let's look at the wand here. Ooh, don't want it to spill. This is great. It is super good for volumizing. It just gives you that perfect shaping. So you guys could see with my eyelashes, they did separate and volumize so, so well with this mascara. I mean, again, it is Pat McGrath. It is a high-end brand. It was very expensive, but wait, I actually didn't purchase one. My friend got this for me. So thank you, friend, for getting this for me. But I probably will have to purchase this eventually when it does run out because I have been using it every single day because it is that good. I love it. If I do have to buy it, I know it will be worth it because I know I will use it and enjoy it so much. It is super black. I'm probably wearing three coats on each side of my eyes today. And I don't feel like I have to wear fake lashes today, which is a plus. So I love this. It is so, so good. Moving on to eyeliner. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This one is actually waterproof. I just picked this up about um, three weeks ago and I have not been putting it down. It is just that good. It is so, so black, which I love. I'm just gonna swatch it using my left hand even though I'm a righty. So that is just so creamy, guys. Like, it just does such a nice job. I tight line with it. I put it on my waterline. It is so creamy. It's long lasting. It is waterproof. So it is just so good for your everyday liner. I think it was like $3 at uh, my Harman's. So that is, again, so affordable. Essence is just such a great brand. I love the foundation, their um, mascara, and now this. Oh, and I love their highlighter. They just have great products, Essence, at such an affordable price. All right, I have two lip products here, and then that's pretty much a wrap for my September favorites. We have here the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. I love this. Again, you could get this at a drug any drugstore because I believe all drugstore sells NYX. If I'm not mistaken, but this color is just everything, guys. Like, let's just show you right here. So the formula isn't the creamiest formula, so that's the shade right there. It is more like a brown nude tone, so I love that, and I'm wearing it on my lips today. I don't find this to be the creamiest formula. You do have to work with it a little bit to get that perfect line, but the color payoff is there, and you can honestly fill your whole lips with it, and again, it just does such a nice job in that way. So again, it's not the creamiest one. Like It's not like a Charlotte Tilbury formula and it's not like a ColourPop formula. NYX has a way of making it just work phenomenal. I'm not even sure how to describe the formula. I wouldn't say it's so stiff because it does move on your lips very easily and it does fill it in beautifully and you can really enhance your lips with this or any of their lip liners. But it is a little different for me and I did have to work with it quite some time in order for me to actually like it and appreciate the formula. And now I do because first of all, this color is just gorgeous and matches all my lipsticks because a lot of my lipsticks nowadays are like nude or tan or like a darker brown or a darker red. So this really goes with so many different lipstick shades. I love it so much. I think it's like four to eight dollars. I'm just giving you like a big range because I'm not really sure what the price is on this. But I, of course, all my prices will be down below here on the screen. But I love this so much. NYX makes like millions of different colors, not actually millions, but I would say like 40 to 50 different shades. And they're just all so good. So the last product is kind of like a lipstick slash a balm. This is actually the YSL Rouge, Rouge Volume Shine in the shade 122. So first of all, let's just show you the packaging. So this packaging, guys, is like literally amazing. I love how it has like the YSL detailing here. It feels like a high-end brand. It feels luxe. I love the gold detailing. And I love how you get to turn it up like that. And I love the actual 
shape of it because it's so easy just to apply your lips and be done. This color is great again for like summer or fall. So let's just, not summer, for, I'm like losing my mind. This shade is great for the winter and the fall because it's just such a pretty tone. It is very natural on the lips. It does feel so hydrating. Also, the smell of it smells like berries. I don't know how to explain it, but it does smell like berries and it is just such a creamy formula. Again, it is so hydrating. It does have a nice little natural glow, but nothing too shiny. There's no like shimmer. There's no glitter in here, but it leaves your kiss look, kiss. It leaves your lips so juicy, so plump, even it has no plumping formula in it. Just, it looks more plump to me when I'm using this. I'm not wearing this on my lips today, but normally I would, but with this eye look, I felt like it didn't really go. But again, this is what the shade looks like. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Like, this is, again, high-end brand. It is why I sell from Sephora, but I love it. I thought it was worth it, so I had to get it. So you guys, that wraps today's September favorites video. I love doing these. So majority of these I would say are probably more on the higher end side, but we did throw in some affordable things from the drugstore or just from like Ulta or from online, which I do love because I do really enjoy playing with high end makeup as well as drugstore slash affordable makeup. I think they all just work so well together. You can find anything from the drugstore. You can find it at Sephora. I just think they're just all so good and it's so hard for me to pick favorites because I have such a big makeup collection but I know these are what I was gravitating towards for the month of September and especially for these next fall months. So yeah, I really love doing these videos and I hope you guys enjoyed, especially enjoy these types of videos where I go over my monthly favorites once a month. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see my videos every single week and I will see you guys here next time.